Hey, what's up guys, Jakey here. Today, I'm gonna to be going over the best Valorant settings, both in-game and desktop tweaks that you can do in order to get your game running at the highest FPS and the least amount of input lag. So let's get right into it. Starting off, we're gonna start with the easiest thing to do, which is the in-game settings. You're just gonna open up your settings here and go over to the video tab. Inside of the video tab, we wanna make sure that we play on full screen. This will give you the least amount of input lag. And then I like to cap my FPS at 400. I highly recommend you cap your FPS um, because if you play uncapped, it can cause some stuttering issues and network instability as well. So I like to cap my FPS at 400, but anything above 300 is really good enough. And then NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, you wanna make sure that you set this on, on plus boost uh, if your graphics card supports it. If you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, then obviously you're not gonna have this option, but if you do have it, make sure you set it to on plus boost. Moving on to the graphics tab, you want to make sure that you turn on multi-threaded rendering if your CPU supports it. If you don't have a CPU that supports multi-threaded rendering, then you're not going to see this option here. But as for everything else, you want to make sure that you turn all of these to low and off. Everything down here just turn off to get the most amount of FPS. For anti-aliasing and anisotropic filtering, this is personal preference. Um, this basically just smooths out the jagged edges on your game and anisotropic filtering will basically make your skins look better. So if you don't really care about any of that, you can set this to none and this to 1x to get the most amount of FPS. But I like playing on MSAA 2x and 4x so that my skins and the game looks a little bit nicer since I am a content creator um, and I do prefer having my game look a little bit nicer. But it's really up to you whether or not you want to turn these two settings up. And that's it for the in-game settings. Now let's move on to the desktop tweaks that you can do in order to improve your FPS. Alright guys, now that we're on the desktop, the first thing you want to do is make sure you turn mouse acceleration in Windows off. In order to do that, what we're going to do is open up our control panel. And now that our control panel is open, we are going to type in mouse and we're going to click on change mouse settings. And this will open up this window here. Once you're here, you want to click on pointer options and make sure that enhance pointer precision is unchecked. After you uncheck this, just hit apply and click OK. All right guys, the next tweak you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to change your power options. So again, open up your start menu and just type power plan. And now we're gonna click on choose a power plan. And inside of here, you wanna make sure you select high performance. Typically by default, balanced will be selected, but you wanna make sure you select high performance. If you're on a laptop, just to keep in mind that this will drain your battery a little bit faster. But if you're on a desktop PC, you will wanna set this to high performance. All right guys, while we have the control panel open, we might as well move on to the next week. What you wanna do is type system inside of the search bar. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on view advanced system settings, and this will open up the system properties tab. First thing we're gonna do is go over to the remote tab and then uncheck allow remote assistant connections to this computer. Unless you are using remote assistance, this is not needed at all. And now we're gonna go back to the advanced tab and we're gonna go under performance, click on settings. And now by default, this will be on let Windows choose what's best for my computer. If you guys want the best performance, what you're going to do is select adjust for best performance, click apply, and then click OK. All right, guys, next up, what you're going to want to do is right click on your desktop, click show more options, and we're going to open up the NVIDIA control panel. Again, this is only for NVIDIA graphics cards. So you're going to open up your NVIDIA control panel. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, adjust image settings with preview. You're going to click on use my preference emphasizing. And now you're going to drag this slider all the way down to performance. After that, just click on apply. One more thing that you can do if you don't play on stretched res and you play on native res, what you want to do is go down to adjust desktop size and position. And then under both your monitors, if you have two, or if you only have one, just make sure you s the scaling mode is set to no scaling. So just put it on no scaling for all of your monitors and then click on apply. Also guys, while you're here, you want to double check that your main monitor is running on the highest refresh rate possible under this refresh rate section here make sure you click on that and select the highest refresh rate that your monitor supports and of course click apply next up guys what you want to do is make sure that you have all of your drivers and windows updated so of course to check for updates you're going to open up your settings and go to the windows update tab and then just click on check for updates and you always want to make sure that you're on the latest version of windows this is not only good for performance but it's also good just to make sure that your windows is secure next up guys we're going to go down to the gaming tab here and go to game bar make sure that you turn game bar off so allow your controller to open game bar, make sure this is set to off. And now go back to the gaming tab and we're gonna click on game mode. Now I actually recommend you turn game mode on, just keep it on. It used to be bad, but game mode is actually good now in Windows 11 if you're on the latest version. So if you're on the latest version of Windows 11, just make sure that you keep game mode on. 
And of course, guys, you want to make sure you're on the latest graphics card drivers as well. So if you have GeForce Experience installed, you want to go to the drivers tab and then check for updates here. And it will tell you if you have the latest drivers. If you don't want to install GeForce Experience, you can also just Google the latest NVIDIA drivers. So if you search NVIDIA drivers here and you go to NVIDIA driver downloads, you can select your graphics card and then you can search for the latest drivers for your graphics card. But one more cool thing that you can do if you have GeForce Experience installed is that you can actually automatically overclock your GPU. So if you actually go to settings here and we turn on in-game overlay. So after you turn on the in-game overlay, you wanna click on settings, click done, and then you will see this performance tab here. So you wanna click on that. And as you can see, this will open up this performance monitoring tab with a bunch of statistics on your GPU. Now. If you enable automatic tuning, what this will do is NVIDIA will automatically overclock your GPU for you. But I only recommend you do this if you have a good GPU and you want to squeeze a little bit of performance out of it. Um, and you also have sufficient cooling on your computer because of course we don't want to overheat our computer or break anything. So before you do this, just make sure that you have good enough cooling and that your GPU even supports it. If your GPU doesn't support this, obviously you're not gonna be able to access this tab. If you click on agree and continue, it will automatically overclock your GPU for you. But that's not all guys. You also wanna make sure that your chipset drivers and audio drivers are up to date. To do this, all you need to do is Google your motherboard model. If you don't know what your motherboard model is, you can check just by going into your start options. And then you type system information. And if you click on that, you will see all of the information for your computer. And as you can see here, my motherboard is the Mag B550 Tomahawk. So all I have to do is type B550 into Google. And then I clicked on the first link and go over to the support page here. And under the support page, you can see it will give me my latest BIOS. And if we go to driver, it will also give me the latest system and chipset drivers, as well as onboard audio drivers and the LAN drivers as well. These are the three that I download. Um, and you just want to make sure that everything is up to date. Do keep in mind, guys, if you are flashing your BIOS to the latest version, make sure you watch a YouTube video on how to do it because you can easily brick your motherboard if you do it wrong. Uh, like if your power cuts out or you turn off your computer mid BIOS update, you can brick your motherboard, which would be a very expensive mistake. So before you update your BIOS, make sure you know what you're doing and you also watch guides on how to do it if you've never done it before. All right, guys, the next tweak we're going to do is we're going to disable any unnecessary startup programs. So in order to do that, we're going to open up our task manager. You can do that obviously by going control alt delete, or if you're on windows 11, just right click on your taskbar and click on task manager. And inside of here, we're going to go to startup apps. We're basically just going to disable anything that we don't use. Like for example, I disabled iTunes, Microsoft edge, OneNote. So anything here that you don't want starting up with your computer, you just want to disable it. Just click on it and then click on disable up here. And of course, if you change your mind in the future, you can always come back and enable it. All right, guys, the final tip that I have for those of you who are on older graphics cards, this might help you a little bit with FPS in game is to disable hardware acceleration. So programs like Discord, Spotify and Google Chrome all have hardware acceleration. And in order to disable it, for example, like in Discord here, all you need to do is go down to your user settings, go to the advanced tab under app settings and then uncheck hardware acceleration. So Hardware acceleration uses your GPU to make Discord smoother. Turn this off if you are experiencing frame drops. So if you are on an older graphics card, then you can come here and disable hardware acceleration, and that might give you a little bit more FPS in game. But if you are on a modern graphics card, then you don't need to do this. Again, Spotify has it as well. All you need to do is click on your settings here. And if you scroll down under compatibility, you will see hardware acceleration, which you can turn off. All right, guys, and finally, my last tip is to make sure that your RAM is running at the highest rated speed. If you guys don't know how to check if you have that enabled, if you have an XMP profile enabled, um, and whether or not your RAM is running at the highest speed, you can just YouTube how to enable RAM XMP, and most of these videos are very solid, and you can use those as a guide to basically check if your RAM is overclocked to the highest speed. You can also check what speed your RAM is running at just by going again into your task manager, going over to performance, clicking on the memory tab, and under speed, this is how fast your RAM is running currently. So you can see mine is at 3600 megahertz. Um, and depending on what speed your RAM is rated for, you might not be running at the highest if you didn't set it in your BIOS. So again, just make sure that your RAM is running at the highest speed and that will give you some potential FPS gains if you've never overclocked your RAM when you built your PC. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope this video helps you out. And if it does, make sure you leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.